introduce to you guys a brand new line of helmets that we are currently carrying right now. I basically came into the shop this morning and I was looking around and I was like, whoa, what is that beauty? And that beauty, my friends, is this. This is a THH. And so basically THH, to give you guys a slight little overview, is from Taiwan. And if you guys don't know, the motorcycle culture in Taiwan is insane. There's basically a lot of bikes in every corner, in everywhere, in every intersection, basically. But yeah, it's super popular in Taiwan and this brand is picking up super fast. And if Taiwan gives these guys a seal of approval, then obviously it must be a pretty good brand. Okay, so I want to basically have a glide through a slight little overview or slash mini spec review of these helmets. Okay? So these are basically DOT and ECE certified, so best believe this inspires comfort and confidence while you ride, guaranteeing you nothing but safety. All right, there's nothing like riding a long ride and knowing that you are super safe no matter what you do. Well, with limitations to what you do, what for an everyday casual ride or a casual long ride, this is exactly for you. And who is this helmet for? Basically, if you guys are riding a classical bike, then this is for you. It is aesthetically pleasing, guys, with a capital P. -p, -p. Actually, with a capital please. This is pleasing to the eyes. As you can tell with the silhouette over here, it is very reminiscent of an older helmet that you find in modern and badasses and Hollywood films. I could 100% imagine James Dean rocking this bad boy over here, and you should be able to imagine yourself rocking this too since you are a badass. Okay. So basically, one hot thing I'd like to highlight with these helmets, guys, is the price. I know they look super pricey and expensive, but matter of fact, they're not so. So just to give you guys a little sneak peek of the price, this over here, completely matte finish. It's nice and smooth, so kind of like a baby's bottom. Okay, so this thing right here is 6,900 pesos, and this glossy finish right here is 7,300 pesos. This, guys, is not bad at all. Judging from the looks, I thought it'd be a little bit more expensive, but for the price point, I was like, damn, that is a steal. All right, so basically it has an advanced thermo poly shell over here. I'm not exactly sure, I'm not entirely sure how an advanced thermo poly shell feels like, but judging by the knock of this helmet and its sturdiness, this is definitely a thermo poly shell. I want to talk about the ventilation system for these helmets just a little bit. So these basically have two point ventilation, one in the front where the air goes in and one in the back where the air goes out. It is a very simple design and basically the only one con about this is the heat that basically circulates and accumulates right in the middle can become a little bit hot. But again, you guys are used to being just a little bit uncomfortable during your ride since you guys are riding a classical bike. So, but then guys, it's not the, it, it's not per se a flaw of this helmet or the manufacturer or anything. It's just the design. It's just the nature of the classical design where it's supposed to have two vents. One air that goes in and one side that goes out. And naturally, naturally, just because of the helmet and the silhouette itself and why it's meant to be in the history of the helmet, this is just the way it is. It's kind of like asking why is the sky blue and why is salt water salt. So let me flip this helmet right over so you, can, you guys can see the inside of it. Not bad, right? And judging by the feel of it, it is super soft. It is not extremely soft, but it is very soft. It's pretty soft enough. It's soft enough to deliver you a very comfortable ride. And the way you detach this and attach this, it's basically held together by a plastic snap button. So clicking this in and out really doesn't take too much root and force, just like the visor itself. Locking this in, up, opening the visor, and closing the visor doesn't take a lot of group and force. As a matter of fact, it's super easy, you can do it while you're riding too. It wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's the smoothest of all experiences toggling this in and out, but it is manageable, and for the price point, it is definitely good to go. All right, so I'm gonna talk about the visor just a little bit. These are anti-fog, and these are anti-distortion, and these are anti-UV. So best believe it'll protect your eyes from the rays of the sun. Okay, so basically anti-distortion meaning anything you're going to see in your peripherals or your vision is basically going to retain its shape. If you're going to see a square, then you best believe the square will stay a square. Okay, so basically that is the overview of this entire helmet. If I can recommend this to anyone, it would be for the classical riders out there who own classical bikes. And if you guys care about your aesthetics and want to look badass in the streets, then this is definitely the helmet for you. Guys, thank you so much for making it all the way till the end of the video. Okay, so. 
with a small little clip right after this, I'm going to show you guys the little variations of the color ways that we have in stock in Motology at this moment. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this entire video, and sorry if I stole just a little bit of your time for a little bit of your entertainment. But guys, if you guys haven't gone over to our YouTube channel yet, please do so and like and subscribe and share to your closest friends or your non-closest friends. It doesn't really matter. But guys, don't forget to comment, okay? Alright, guys, have a nice day and ride safe.